I'm sitting here playing Horizon Forbidden West and I am awed by how beautiful the game is. I'm taken back by how everyone and everything in the world looks real and I'm intrigued in the time period that the game is set, but I'm not really having any fun. I don't want to go back and play the game and so why is that? Why is that I don't want to play through The Witcher 3 again? Why is it that I don't want to pick up Assassin's Creed Valhalla again? These are all really good games. They look great, there's a ton of things to do, but why isn't it keeping my attention? I believe there are a few reasons why open world games just don't hold me anymore and why they're not fun for me anymore. Some of these may actually be pretty surprising. Thank you again to all my members and patrons. If you want to check out all that stuff, I will have it at the end of the video as well and in the description. But anyways, now in order to break down this video properly, we have to split the reasons up into psychological reasons and tangible reasons. The psychological reasons can also be grouped into reasons that are out of my control or anyone else's control. So let's start there as these are some of the biggest reasons why I am just not having fun anymore in open world games. Do you remember growing up as a kid and all you had to worry about was going to school and coming home and then doing your homework and then possibly jumping on your favorite game as a kid? Whether that be a sports franchise game or Call of Duty, RuneScape, WoW, EverQuest, whatever it is, it was an experience. You remember on the weekends spending countless hours on video games because you didn't have a care in the world. You didn't have bills to pay. You didn't have any other things that were stressing you out. I remember these days. I remember them vividly. And I think most people my age right now probably had a similar experience that liked gaming or grew up with gaming. Now maybe you were like, Adam, I was actually old enough to be working a job when I played these games. And to that I say, of course you were. Of course there were older people with jobs, bills, and responsibilities playing games at that time. So I think these two examples fall into a, two different camps that are under reasons we can't control. The one camp being the group of people like me, or the age group like me, where we were just in a different phase of life. I am now an adult, preparing to get married, paying bills, juggling life circumstances that come up, trying to see family, spending time with friends, IRL. Life is just different. There's nothing that I can do about that. And I'm thankful that life is different. I'm thankful for where I'm at right now. The other camp is adults who played these games during this time, and the struggle now isn't necessarily a completely different phase of life for you, but maybe it's a completely different world that we live in. Life seemed a lot simpler 20 years ago, with less information, less chaos going around, no social media. It was just a different time. So at this point, some of you might be confused as to why I'm talking about all of this when the video is about open world games. But please bear with me because those two experiences I just mentioned feed into all of these other psychological reasons why I am not having fun in open world games anymore and probably why you aren't either if you're in the same boat as me. The first one is I used to love sharing with my friends what I did in an open world game. We would all go to the pool and talk about what we did in Fallout 3, Oblivion, Pokemon. We would discuss what we were gonna do next in the game. It gave us a sense of pride and accomplishment that we could show to our friends. The bottom line is we want to tell someone about it. Isn't this a huge reason why we play social games like MMOs? Or why maybe we used to play social MMO games in general is we wanted to show off the cool thing we got to our friends or to the public. You know, everyone used to take pride in all their 99 capes they got in RuneScape. Everyone takes pride in that mount that they farmed in WoW. There's so much pride that comes with that that we wanted to show people what we did. So when we played open world games, we were able to do that. So why can't I tell my friends about that anymore? Why can't I just play these open world games and have that same experience? Because we are in different phases of life. I don't see my friends every day like I used to at school and on the weekends. My friends are spread out across multiple states. Some are married, some have kids. The whole reason for me that I played open world games was to have a story to tell to my actual friends at school or at the pool or just in general. And for the other camp, for the people that were adults possibly in this time period, when you had jobs, when life was a little bit more simpler, social media came out. 
social media made things the new hype. Everyone wanted to be on MySpace. Everyone wanted to be on Facebook. Everyone, you know, started using Twitter. And I think that social media in a lot of ways made things a lot harder and it took a lot of the social aspects out of games to where you just posted things online now instead of actually experiencing an open world game and then telling someone about it. But think about it for a second. Why aren't games really focused around couch co-op anymore? Think about a lot of the times you played a game at a friend's house. You played GoldenEye, Super Smash Brothers, Mario games, Cool Borders. You can name any game. Every game, for the most part, that we played in the 90s, early 2000s, there were a lot of them were couch co-op because that's where people came together and played a game. Well, now fast forward. All of those people are older now. They live in different cities. They have jobs. They have a family. The gaming industry has grown with that generation. The gaming industry, in a way, caters to that generation. The internet is more advanced now as well than it ever was, hence the birth of all of these online games where you could hop online and play with other people all over the world and not have to leave your home. Games now don't really have couch co-op modes because it's not as needed anymore. The market isn't there for it because think about it, everyone else is moved on. They've either gotten married, have kids, they, they can't just go over to their friend's house every night and play a video game. So the gaming industry has actually evolved with that. Think about all the popular games that you see people play now. Fortnite, uh, Battle Royales, Warzone, all these hero shooters, Dead by Daylight, everything is online now because everyone is split up. Everyone has a job, right? It's so catered to my generation, in my opinion, that it's just going to morph over time because that is one of their biggest audiences as well. That's why you see an insane rise of mobile gaming because now mobile gaming is the biggest gaming industry over like normal gaming. It caters to kids. It tries to get kids hooked in these mobile games, which I have a whole separate thought on that for another video. But games are just not designed like they used to be anymore because we don't go to our friend's house anymore because we're older. We have other things we have to do. I think as humans, we want that social interaction though. And whether you're an introvert or not, or you know whether you don't want that all the time, I still think human beings still want social interaction. And we might get that from social media, we might get that from playing games with friends online, or going to a brewery, or whatever you like to do socially. I think everyone is meant to have that interaction in some way. So when I hop into an open world game, most of the time it's single player. I get in the game and there's no social interaction anymore. I don't tell my friends about it at school. I don't tell them at the pool or over Discord really. It's just not the same feeling anymore. Now at this point, some of you might be like, Adam, I actually really like open world games and that's perfectly fine. But for me, they just don't scratch that itch anymore. So what's my alternative then? What do I do instead? What do I actually find fun in gaming? Well, now I would say nine times out of 10, I choose a game that is multiplayer that I can play with my friends each evening. They live in different cities, and so we play games like Monster Hunter, WoW, other MMOs, or just other games in general that we can get online and play together. That is my choice of fun. If I had a choice to sit there and play a single player game that's open world and have all that stuff, or my friends are playing Monster Hunter, or they're playing like some game that's just online, I would play with them because it's just a better experience. But what are some of these tangible reasons that I feel that make open world games not fun anymore for me? Because I did mention that at the beginning of the video. Well, first of all, a lot of times games are, are just too massive with too many choices. These kind of choices can paralyze the user into not knowing where to go and not feeling some sort of passion to go there because they don't even know where they're supposed to go. Too many choices just make it more and more difficult to have a goal in mind. Another big reason is something I think that is plaguing a lot of these open world games is they just feel empty. 
they don't feel lifelike because you don't have other people there, like I said, to share it with you. Too big of a world can really just make it not feel fleshed out, if that makes any sense to you all. And another massive reason that some of these open world games are just not fun for me is they don't get you to the open world or the meat of the game quick enough. It takes like two hours plus to sometimes finally have things introduced to you in the game or systems. And by that time, I honestly have lost interest. I think the first 30 minutes or an hour, you need to have the world open up and you need to have an objective or a common goal. And the game just then can allow you to either choose to do that or you can go do your own thing. It just has to teach you things quicker. I can't even get past some of these open world games title screens because I feel like, I'm like, okay, why does it feel like I'm kind of hindered right now? Why does it feel like I'm not able to like fully do something right now? It's because it's teaching you the game and they spend the first two hours of the game teaching you stuff when you really don't need two hours to teach someone something. You just sometimes need to teach them some quick things and then 15 to 30 minutes of the gameplay, you need to feel hooked on that. And I just think that open world games really struggle with that now. And I felt that way in Horizon Forbidden West. I was like, when am I gonna get through this? Like, I feel like encounter after encounter that was so drawn out to just teach you how to like vault and all this other stuff. And I was just like, I just don't care. Like, I just want to explore the world. I wanna have a purpose to be in that world. So I just feel like a lot of games that I actually enjoy right now, I'm able to be in the game immediately for the most part. And I'm able to experience the gameplay immediately of what it's supposed to be like. A game that does this really well is Elden Ring. They allow you to be thrown into the game, maybe a little too quick, but they have a small tutorial, but then they let you decide what you wanna do. And they give you a path that you should take for the story, but you have to learn on your own and that path might not be where you need to go immediately because it's kind of like setting your own difficulty. So you, if you get wrecked, you need to go different ways, get gear and then go on that path. But it gives you a direction. The Witcher 3 did a great job with this as well because you immediately cared about the story and the world felt alive and vibrant. Now, I don't really wanna go back and play it, but it's just something that I really do remember it doing a great job in that category. To be able to hook me though in an open world game, there has to be a quicker entry into the gameplay. If I wasn't so much into Vikings, I probably would have gave up on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but I stuck with it and I made it pretty far. But again, I don't really feel like going back to it because it's just like, it doesn't seem like it's the better choice when I can just play games with friends. But all of this is just like life. When people get nice cars in life or a house or something really cool and they show it off on social media, a lot of times these people do this because they want to flex things. And that's not meant to be a shot at people. I've done this too, even though I try not to now, but humans do this all the time. It creates a sense of comparison or accomplishment between people that can often lead to unhealthy obsessions over getting the next best thing. So in all, what I've found more satisfying in gaming now is just having a social outing with friends in games. It doesn't matter the type of game we're playing. It could be a battle royale. It could be Fall Guys. It could be um, a survival game. It could be an MMO. It could be Monster Hunter. Having friends to play it with or social interaction with friends to experience something with now in this phase of life is more valuable than spending 100 hours in an open world game by myself. Whether we get crushed in Monster Hunter, we still get to experience the monsters together. We still get to show each other cool armor. And this has been very fun and fulfilling. I'm sure in 15 years, I'll have another discussion though about how gaming has changed because it is going to evolve. But the one thing I always wanna to try to do is keep those fun social experiences within games because those are memories that will always be there. You will always remember when you cleared that first raid with your friends in Destiny. You always remember when you cleared that first raid in WoW. You remember when you got that drop, right? You remember when you did X, Y, or Z. It's just something that will always last. But I just wanna give a huge shout out to my members again and my patrons. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I'd love to hear if you guys are having fun in open world games or if it's just the same thing for you right now. But for me, it's just not doing it for me anymore. And so I'd love to hear you guys tell me what you think in the comments. But until next time, y'all just remember, have faith, be great, and I'll see you somewhere online. Later.